Who are the Nephilims? Who are the fallen angels? Who are the sons of God? In this lesson, I'm going to show you nothing but the truth of who they truly are. But before I start, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waharaka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kwadash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth, which is a token from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, the ones who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. It's the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp, and also Shalawam to the few sisters who are sincerely seeking this truth. So as I said, who are the Nephilims? Who are the fallen angels? Who are the sons of God? So we're going to start off. I know most of the people, you know, might be thinking of something like what they see on the screen, you know. But the fallen angels are simply the sons of God. Okay. Now, let's go straight to the scripture. I'll read from the book of Genesis chapter 6. It says, And it came to pass... When men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And Yahweh said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of the Most High came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, and the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. So, as you can see, reading the scripture alone, people just, you know, they bug out, man. They bug out because the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai, is not working with them. And what they've been, they've been teaching right from, you know, our birth has been, you know, Greek philosophies, myth, you know, and we're told we're warned to stay away from this myth, okay? Now, this is the true breakdown of who the, the sons of God actually are. The sons of God are the Israelites, okay? The sons of God are the Israelites. Now, let's read, it says, And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Now, this Bible is speaking about a, a, a group set of people who we all know as the Israelites. Before they became the Israelites, they were the sons of Jacob, you know. Before they became, in which the word Israelite means the sons of the power, you know, princes of the power, sorry, you know. Princes of the power, and the power means God, you know, the princes of God, you know. So now, as we said, before they were called um, the sons of Jacob, they were the sons of Adam, and then they were known as the Adam Adamites, which, you know, that's a, a totally different story. And they were also known as the sons of the Most High, you know? So it has nothing to do with what, you know, people are teaching the false doctrine that they tell you that they are angels, they are entities like this, you know? All this myth were taken out of the book of Enoch, the book of Jasha, in which this book, before coming into this truth, I had this book, I read this book, and I'll tell you that without the Bible, we wouldn't know the existence of such books, you know, because such books are mentioned in the Bible. The book of Jasha is mentioned in the Bible. The book of Enoch, I really, the book of Enoch is also, Enoch is also mentioned in the Bible, you know. So, people came to the knowledge of such books through the Bible. But one thing is these books, they contradict the Bible. They contradict the Bible in many, many various points. So, these are books that are going to bug your spirit out. These are books that are going to mislead you because any book that contradicts the Bible is an incorrect book. 
So we know these books were manipulated in order to cause, you know, this confusion, which are stumbling blocks to many people. Now let's get the book of um, Luke. Book of Luke chapter 3, verse 38. I'll just go straight up to the, to the last verse. You know, this is given the genealogy, okay, of the son, son of the most high, which is Yahweh Shai, through the lineage of his mother, okay, the, the book of um, Matthew, the first chapter, tells you uh, his genealogy through the lineage of his father, in which they both are Judahites, okay? Now, it's giving you the old genealogy was the son of, you know, it says, which was the son of Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, which was the son of Abraham, which was the son of Tyre, which was the son of Nacor. Then coming down here, it says, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of the Most High, the Son of God. So you can see when you hear the Son of God in the book of, um, of Genesis, you don't quickly need to bug out, you know. These are speaking about the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, the sons of Jacob. Okay. Now, touching on the same thing, let's get the book of Psalm, um, Psalm 82. The book of Psalm 82, the sixth verse, it says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. So you see, we are actually gods. We are the sons of the Most High, you know? But, you know, we, 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 we left the commandments that were given to us, which were the way of life, you know, in which... Adam, Adam, Adam started following, you know, philosophies and commandments of different nations in which he was commanded not to do so through his wife, Eve, you know, because Eve was the first to be beguiled, you know, so we fell from that state of that sons of God, we fell, you know, and here we are today, you know, being the least of all the nations that are surrounding us. Mind you, the true sons of Israel are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos. Then you have Israelites spread in all, four, all parts of the earth, man, in all four corners of the earth, in different, in different countries looking like the nations where they find themselves, you know? So this, these are the sons of God. Now, now, going back to the book of Genesis, it says, And the sons of the Most High saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives, you know, of all which they chose. And such situation, you know, it's not only because they chose those. First of all, we have the commandments that we're not meant to have wives of other nations, but we can have them as concubines. But the main reason why, you know, they were doing this was because they started worshipping the gods of those different nations, you know. Which, you know, it's it's one of the great commandments. The Most High Yahweh Shem Shai is a jealous God, you know. And that's the same thing that um, King Solomon did also in the later times of his of his life. You know, he was carried away by the, the, the women of different nations that he married and, you know, started following their gods, started worshipping their gods, you know. Now, let's get the book of Ezra, the ninth chapter. I'll read from verse 1. It says, now, and these things, you see, everything is a reincarnation, you know. We've done various lessons to let you understand that reincarnation is biblical, you know. I might jump on this lesson as well, maybe the next one, you know, according to how the Spirit moves me. You know, reincarnation is biblical and there is nothing new under the sun. Everything that has been done in the past are still the same thing that are being done today, you know. So he says, now when these things were done, the princes came to me saying... The people of Israel, the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Etites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians and the Amorites, for they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands, yea, the land of of the princes and rulers has been chief in their trespass. So you can see, this is exactly what's been said in the book of Genesis. It says, And the son of the, of the Most High saw the daughters of men 
You know, we have three classifications of humans. You have the sons of God. In the Bible, you have three classifications. You have the sons of God, who are the Israelites. You have the sons of the wicked, who are the Edomites, the so-called um, Caucasian race that are in power today, that their, their, their progenitor, they come from the sons of Edom, you know. Then you have the sons of men, which are the rest of the nations, you know. These nations, they have their gods in which they, they, they worship. You know, the most, high has, uh, the most high is the power of only Israel, you know. And all these other nations, they have their gods and we are warned not to follow their ways, you know. So when we mingle with them, start taking them as wives, you know, we start worshipping their gods. You know, this thing is what, you know, this is this is this this thing makes us fall short of the glory of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And this same thing is being done today, you know. We're, 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 we're following all different philosophies of all these nations around us, whatever they teach us, you know, Christianity is a man-made doctrine, is a, is, a, is, a, is a false religion, you know, Islam is a false religion, Buddhism, all these religions are false, you know, you need to come back to the statutes and the commandments of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, we're given a book, this book is written to a, set, to a set of people, so you see, once you start doing things outside of this book and following other other nations and traditions, you know, you fall short of this glory, you know. So let's keep reading. It says, so as you say, as you saw what we read, excuse me, as you saw what we read in the book of Ezra, the ninth verse, and what did Ezra do? It says, and when I heard these things, <laughs> sorry, and when I heard this thing, I rent my garment and my mantle and plucked off the air of my head and of my bed and sat down and astoined okay so this thing actually you know it vexed the spirit of ezra you know and that's the same old thing that's being done here you know so he says and yahweh said my spirit shall not strive always with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years so because of that you know the most i reduced he shortened the life of the most high remember what's the wages of sin the wages of sin is death but the gift of the most high yahweh shem yahushai is eternal life and what is sin sin is the transgression of the law that's regarding to the book of um first john you know is it three verse four you know it says sin is the transgression of the law so once we transgress the law we fall short of the glory of the most high yahweh shem yahushai and what's what's the what's the consequence the consequence is death you know because at first, in the Garden of Eden, you know, we were created to, to live forever, you know. We were created like gods, man. We didn't know anything evil, you know. Until the serpents beguiled Eve, in which, you know, people are still thinking that was a real uh, normal serpent, which we've done various lessons on that. That's actually speaking of a set group of people. And this is speaking of this, the seed of the wicked. Before they became known as the Edomites, they were known as the seed of the serpents, you know, the way the serpents, you know, in which they practice witchcraft. And, you know, the most I will in Yahweh Shem Yahushai Ratazah, I might do a lesson touching on this, you know. So, that's speaking on the fall, man, you know. Now, it says, and yet his days shall be 120 years. So now, speaking more on the fall, let's get some other scriptures here in which we can't, we can't skip now I'm going to get the book of um um the book of Second Ezra, also known as Fourth Ezra, the book of Second Ezra, the seventh chapter, and I'll read from verse forty-eight, which quotes, "O thou Adam, what hast thou done? For through it was thou that sinned; thou art not fallen alone." but we all that came of thee. So the sin that Adam sinned, you know, it got onto all the seeds as well, you know, and that seed was that of, you know, partaking of that fruit in which that fruit represents, you know, philosophies of the rest of the other nations breaking the laws, just like we read in the book of um, Ezra, chapter the ninth chapter, you know. It says, O thou Adam, thou hast... What hast thou done? For though it was thou that sinned, thou art not fallen alone, but we all that came of thee. 
for for what for what profit is it unto us if there be prof- promised us an immortal time, whereas we have done the works that bring it death? So you see, we were actually created to be immortals, man. You know, just like I said, the 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 the, the wages of sin is death. I believe that's the book of Romans. Let's see. Romans. It might be mistaken. Let me just see. Let me write it like this. Sorry, that's the book of um, Romans, the sixth chapter, the twenty-third verse it says, "For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai." Is eternal life through Yahweh Shai, our Mashiach. So you see, we were created to be immortal, but we sinned, in which you know it brought it brought forth death. You know, it says, "For what profit is it unto us if we be promised as an immortal time, whereas we have done the works that bring death? And what's that work that bring death? Sin, and that this." And that there is promised us an everlasting hope, whereas ourselves, being most wicked, are made vain. And that they are laid up for us dwellings of he- of health and safety, whereas we have lived wickedly. And that the glory of the Most High is kept to defend them which have led a weary life. Whereas we have walked in the most wicked ways of all, you see, and that there should be showed a paradise whose fruit endureth forever, wherein is security and medicine, since we shall not enter into it, you know. For we have walked in unpleasant places. So you see, you can keep reading here, you know, this is actually just telling you about the situation of things, you know. As Adam fell, we his progenitors, the Adamites, because then in the Garden of Eden, it wasn't just only Adam, you know. It was a nation of people known as the Adamites, you know. This is another lesson, you know. Now, let's get another scripture, which is always the book of Second Esdras, the third chapter. And I'll read the fifth verse. It says, and gavest a body unto Adam without soul, which was the workmanship of thine hands, and did breathe into him the breath of life, and he was made a living thing before thee. You see, so Adam was created. That breath of life that was breathed into him is the laws and the statues, man. You know, at that time, the laws and statues have always been. They were orally made, you know. Now, remember that Cain and Abel, they had sacrifices to, of, to offer. They knew they were, they, they were meant to offer sacrifices, you know. So they knew, they knew the laws, man, but the laws were oral. They, were, they weren't written on stones yet until the time of Moses, you know. So that bread is actually the law that was bred into Adam, you know. And thou leadest him into paradise, which thy right hand had planted before ever the earth came forward. And unto him thou givest commandment to love thy way. To love thy way. If you love me, you keep my commandments. You know? Now, remember, everything has to go back. If you love me, you keep my commandments. This is the book of John 15, 10. It says, If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my law, even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. 5 2, 1 John 5 2. But this we know that we love we love that we love the children of the most high when we love the most high and keep his commandments. Okay. John 14 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So you see, we broke that commandment, you know, as the sons of the Most High. We broke that commandment, which leads to the next stage, which is which we became the fallen ones, the fallen angels, you know. So now he says, And unto, the, and unto him thou givest commandment to love thy way, which he transgressed 
and immediately thou appointest death in him and in his generations of whom came nations, tribe, people, and kindreds out of number, okay? And every people walked after their own will and did wonderful things before thee and despised thy commandments, okay? And that's the reason why the Most High brought the flood because, you know, if you keep reading through the story in the book of um, Genesis 6, you know, get into the seventh verse and it says, And the, the, Yahweh said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping things and the fowls of the earth for it. Repented me that I have made them. And this same thing is happening today, you know, and the Most High is coming to destroy everything again, you know, because... Um, we are not following the commandments of the Most High. We're not doing according to His will. But this time around, you know, we have a hundred and forty-four thousand Noahs and uh, a, a great multitude, you know. We have a great multitude of Noahs that are going to be saved. It's not only going to be Noah and his family, in which there were eight. You know, this time around, we're going to be a great multitude, you know, that are going to be saved. Because, you see, that's why we tell you that there is a hundred percent truth. And this truth is being given not by, by merit or because we're most intelligent or because we make most researches or whatever. But this is, this is the grace, you know. This has been written from the foundations. Those who are going to be saved have been written from the, from the foundations of the earth, you know. So now, going back to where we stopped, and it says, verse 4, Genesis 6, 4, it says, There were giants, you know. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of the Most High came in unto the daughters of men, and the bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. Okay? Now, this word giants always bog people out. Okay? Now, if we go to the root word of this giant, as the Strongs, it says, Nephilim, Napalyal. Okay, I hope I'm pronouncing it well. And it says, Giant, the Nephilim. Okay, it says a fella. That, no, well, anyway, this application is not giving me the full understanding. So let's go to the blue letter. Let's go to the blue letter. This is the book of Genesis sixth chapter and the fourth verse see and it says and there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of the most high came in unto the daughters of men now let's go to the root word of giants so you see the word giant Nepal Let's go into the root word. You see, it tells you. Ah, uh, you see. These people have actually, they've actually done a lot of changes, you know. And this is what we're witnessing right now, you know. Nepal, you know. Let's see the root word from H5307. That's the root word. You know, you see. It says to fall, to lie, to be cast down, to fail, cast down, fall away, overthrow, you know. So we fell down, we were casted out of that, that you know, that sons of God status that we, that, we, that we had. We fell away, you know, that's the meaning of Nephilim, you know. So you see the word Nepal, this is the root word, the, the word etymology, you know, that's why it's very important to go to the root words, you know, you don't just... Just like the Christians, they do. They don't make any searches. They don't. They don't understand the scriptures. They don't have the spirit of the Most High. You know that's why they say all different kinds of nonsense. You know. So the root word takes you. You know, it means to fall. You see, fall to fall. So you see, to fall to fall to fall off violently. So you see, we fell off that glory because we disobeyed the commandments. That's what the word giants mean you see these are the fallen ones you see so you know 
people are going to hear this and bug out and start thinking of things like this you know uh, those those pictures that are on internet you know in which those pictures many of them are uh majority of them if not all of them are all what do you call it what do you call it um they are all um photoshopped you know let's go back to the lesson anyway i'll show you that later so you see the word giants means to fall you know and it says and when the sons of the most high came in unto the daughters of men and they bear children to them the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown now these mighty men that we're speaking about like we have men men that are that were you know they were known men of renown you know let me say that word renown you see it says reputation fame glory so you see these men had a reputation they were known you know just like the so-called you know stars that you have today you have um um who can i think of drake drake is a, is a man of renown as a giant of this of this modern time you know so you have also an, an, an artist from nigeria known as the bonner boy you know he calls himself the giant of africa you know does it mean that he's a he's a literal giant no he's a man of renown he's a giant you know in which we're also going to touch on giants you know because we also have giants in the bible who were men of you know great statues but they were nothing like what the people are trying to depict that they are you know so now speaking of this um let's get the book of um, baruch get the scriptural point out and then you know go to some other things this is the book of um baruch excuse me this is the book of baruch the third chapter and the 26th verse which says Now, let me start from 24. It says, O Israel, how great is the house of the Most High, and how large is the place of his possession. So, you see, speaking about Israel, it says, Great, and at non, non end, I and unmeasurable. It says, There were the giants, famous from the beginning, that were of so great stature and so experts in wars. You know, so these giants, these great men that were born, you know, in which the Israelites, you know, they mingled with other nations, you know, these children were born into these um, different nations, worshipping all different gods, you know. That spirit of, you know, the sons of God was actually, you know, always present, like the salt, we are the salt of the earth, you know. The sons of Israelites have a, a spirit with them, you know, which is the salt, you know. But then they were worshipping other gods, you know, they were in their ignorance, doing all different kinds of things, and they were known to be strong, you know, just like you have... The Israelites dominating the um, WFC, dominating all sports, you know, fastest men and all these things, you know. These are sons of Israel, you know. It says, There were the giants famous from the beginning that were of so great statures and so expert in war. Those did not the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai choose, neither gave he the way of knowledge unto them. But they were destroyed because they had no wisdom and perished through their own foolishness. Just like just like it's going to happen this time around you know the so-called celebrities the big men of the society you know the, the renowned people lebron james all those people these are sons of the most high and these are giants of this modern day society you know they are all going to be destroyed if they don't repent you know because that flood the second death that, that flood was the first death now we have a second death which is going to come by fire you know this is a perfect balance by the most high he first destroyed the world with water, but this time around, he's going to destroy the world by fire. So if you don't repent, if you don't come out from your wickedness, start calling on the true name of the Most High, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh, who is the mediator, and start doing according to his will, you know, being humble, you know, following his commandments to the best of your ability, you're all going to be destroyed in what's about to come, you know. Now, still speaking of these giants, let's get the book of Sirach which is also known as Ecclesiasticus, you know, the 16th chapter, the 7th verse, it says, 
he was pacified towards the old giants who fell away in the strength of their foolishness. You know? You see, these giants, they fell away from the strength. Uh, they fell away in the strength of their foolishness. You see, that goes back to that word giants, Nepal, you know, that we read of. You know, it means to fall. Okay? So when you say the word Nephilim, Nephilim means to fall. You know, it has nothing to do with some alien race or something like that. No, those are all wicked doctrines, you know, doctrines of men, you know, fables, which we're not, we're not to give heed to these fables, man. You know, it says he was not pacified towards the old giants who fell away in the strength of their foolishness. Neither spared he the place where Lot sojourned, but abode them for their pride. You know, and this is the same thing that's coming, man. The Most High is not going to spare this kingdom. He's coming back with great wrath, you know. His son, Yahushai, coming back to destroy this place and the wicked people in it. Let's get the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, the 14th chapter. The 6th verse, it says, For in the old times also, when the proud giants perished, you see, the proud giants perished. The hope of the world governed by, the, by thy hand escaped in a weak vessel and left to all ages a seed of generations. You see, of a seed of generation. You know, and that's exactly what's going to happen again this time around. You know, we fell, we fell from calling the names of our, our God. You no, know, start going after Islam. Christianity, black power, Egyptology, and all that madness, man. You know, so we are giving into the hands of our enemies. They're ruling over us right now. Just go and read the book of um, the book of um, Deuteronomy, twenty-eighth chapter. You know, you get to understand who the true Israelites are. So now you can see that these sons of God are the Israelites. These fallen angels, the so-called fallen angels, the Nephilims are the sons of Israel that they fell from that status of the son of God, just like today, you know? So when they start talking about all those Nephilims and all that BS, and the reason why I'm doing this lesson is because, you know, surfing the, the, the Instagram, you know, there have been lots of madness going on these days, you know, speaking about, um, what do you call it? Um, um, fallen angels, Nephilim, you know, a race of, a race of um, reptilians that are ruling and all that thing. No, all those things are BS, man. There is no race of rep reptilians ruling. There is a race of the wicked, the seed of the serpents, the wicked, the sons of Esau, Edom. That's what they are. Those are the people ruling. And now, the other man, Zakbar, did a lesson pointing out this, this bug out individual, Ty Jackson, and he did a video, a short video on this, in which I'm going to play. So you should watch out for people like this. Beware of people like this. Because people like this are teaching all sorts of madness on this, on these things. You know, beware of all these deep water people. Stay away from them and stick to the true doctrine. You know? So let me play it. Aliens are not who you think they are. They are not benevolent space brothers. Whenever you take a look at the simple definition of an alien, it just simply means somebody that's not native to a particular area. For example, I'd be an alien if I go to Europe. By this definition, any interdimensional being that is not from the earth would be considered an alien. This includes angels and fallen angels, but they're not like what we see on TV. Angels of Jesus Christ, they serve God. But when you take a look at fallen angels and link with the Nephilim, modern day Nephilim, you get these, and not only these, but others as well. Jesus said, as in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. And in Noah's day, there was a promotion of fallen angels in Nephilim. And nowadays, you have these fallen angels in Nephilim abducting people, getting people pregnant, replaying Genesis 6. Like a follower scene. So you see, this is a bugged out individual who doesn't know what he's saying, you know. This is the BS that they want you to, to believe. They want to believe that, you know, these are Nephilim, these are aliens or whatever. And the aliens are nothing but the angels of the Most High, Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, and they look nothing like this, you know? 
the so-called UFO are the chariots of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, and his angels have the look of men. You know, they have the look of normal humans. You know, so you need to stay away from you know all these kinds of madness. You know, Ty Jackson. This is a very bogged out individual. You know, stay away from such people. Now let's touch on something else, which is the Anunnaki. And now, sorry, you know, as I showed you here, giants, and I showed you the root word, which is Nephilim, the so-called Nephilim, Napalium, okay? I am going to show you that there are also other words in the Bible used as giants. For example, the, the giant that, that um, David slayed, who's called Goliath. So let me put in the word giant. So you see that there are two different giants and they have different meanings. And that's why you really need to go into the root of words. So when he speaks about the, the giants or the sons of the most high, you know, the fallen angels, you know, whatever, it has to do to fall, to fall, to fall away from, from, from your, your, glo your, um, your, your state of glory, you know, the sons of the most high. Then when it has to do with giants of other lands, you know, for example, he says here, and the region of Agob, which all Bashan, which was called the land of giants. Now, let's see what that giant actually says. I know the word says Raphael. You see, this is a different thing. It speaks of Rapha, okay? It speaks of giants, Raphael, a tribe of giants, you know? And I'm going to show you what this tribe of giants actually are. You know, now if you go and you look, you look, whatever he tells you about all these people. These are all nations of the Canaanites, you know? So we, the Israelites, we took the lands of the, the land, part of the land of the Canaanites, you know, and we are different from the Canaanites, you know, the Canaanites come from the lineage of Ham. We come from the lineage of Shem. Okay. So there is a difference between us, even if we kind of like look alike in certain ways, but the ancient Egyptians were giants, man. You know, they were tall people. This is what it's speaking of, you know? So now let me see, where is that can? Let me see that Goliath. So you see, we're born to the giant gods. Let me see. So David fought with a giant here. Let me just pick this, you know. So you see the word um, giant. Let me show you that it's not the same thing that it refers to the son of the most high. So you see, it speaks of Raphael. It's an actual, actual tall people, but it's not what they try to let you understand. Now, let me show you who they are. You know, these are the so-called giants that are speak, being spoken of. So you see this lady right here. See how tall she, she is. She is a giant. Shaquille O'Neal is a giant, you know. These are the people of the Sudan. Look how tall these people are. These are these people that are being spoken of, you know. These are the sons, the so-called sons of Anakim, okay, in which people will tell you about Anunnaki, Anunnaki and all that BS, but they don't know the they don't know they don't know what they're speaking about, you know. In the book of um is it um numbers? Can numbers 13 book of numbers chapter 13 it speaks about the sons of anak okay i'll go down to the third second verse and this these people were these people speaking of these people were bringing up wicked reports you know and the reports they were bringing is to scare the sons of israel so that they can go back to the land of egypt you know i'm not going to go into this you know so what they were doing is they were exaggerating what they were saying and lying you know so he says, and I um and they brought up an evil report. They brought an evil report, which if you go to the evil reports, they are lies, you know. Manipulated words, words in order to scare away the Israelites from going into that land. And he say, and there we saw giants, sons of Anak. Now, if you go to that giant, it tells you about Nephilim, but you know what they were trying to do is to scare the sons of Israel. Strongs, you see, it tells you about Nephilim, but it has nothing to do with the sons of the Most High because what they were doing, and remember that we read um the book of Baruch, 
the nature uh, the nature of these giants were warlike men you know we read the book of baruch the third chapter 26 verse you know they, 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 they were strong and fought wars and all that thing so they were trying to they brought a an evil report trying to scare the sons of israel from not getting to the land you know so he says the sons of anak that's where you get the anakims the anunnakim you know it tells you you see anak was a canaanite you see it was a canaanite so these were tall people it has nothing to do with these are the people that is actually spoken these people are actual um what do you call it they're actual um hamites you know they could be they could be a tribe of uh, of of the, of the egyptians you know so these are the giants being spoken of not here see this dude um jubrinsky he goes around in the world and he went to the south of sudan and he saw lots of tall people these were even shots to tell you all the people were tall man these are the giants being spoken of you know look at them these people are giants man they're tall look so this edomite needs to stand on a stool but you see <laughs> see how tall they are so these are the giants you know that are being spoken of you see this basketballer you see he was a giant man the uh, shaquille o'neal is a giant so hey hopefully you know i threw some light into this topic you don't get don't get bogged out and carried away by these wicked doctrines of men because there are lots of um there are lots of wicked doctrines out there you know there are lots of doctrines of men you know um the spirit of of the spirit of um spewing out you know wickedness is really vast out there you know and this is going to be a stumbling block to lots of people so you know hold fast to sound doctrine and stop following these wicked doctrines of men you know and once they start showing you all these all these pictures of um of huge skeletons you know let me see giants these are all photoshopped man you know these are all photoshopped they can't they, there is no root of um um of authenticity or, or authenticity or how do you pronounce that word of authentic proof of this giant skulls you know these are all photoshopped man you know so stay aware of all these things and don't get bogged out hopefully you know this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the most high yaba shemyao shai you know the, the the nephilims are the sons of the most high who fell from their states of being the sons of god you know the anunnakis are the sons of anak okay and yeah they have features of being tall you know tall people just like i showed you in that image then you have um the giants you know which are nephilims which are you know goes back to the word fall to fall so hopefully this lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of the most high yahweh shai until the next one shalom